Hello YouTube, this is Christonian here, playing Spaz, Space Pirates and Zombies, where we just left off, we just completed, or no, we still have one barrel left for the trash heap mission, and we just blew up that big guy, so, uh, but we actually lost ourselves also. Uh, so we're gonna go get that last trash heap, make sure all the data is collected, and then we're gonna kill this civilian ship because I want that data. So that big ship, which was the medium class build, even bigger than what we have right now, like uh, uh, my two other ships are a tiny and a small, and I'm a small, and that guy, oh yeah, there was a black box over here, the guy left it behind. See, that's the thing in the bottom right corner. These are uh, crew capsules. They're just jettisoned into space to survive. Ah! Looks like stuff is disappearing, so I guess it does. So it's called the Tug. And that'll be our first medium class build, which is quite a big ship. And I think it has a turret. That's where I stopped playing last time, when I got off. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? They refused to cooperate, so we jettisoned them, and then I lasered them, because I'm a bastard. I don't think I'm that heartless. There we go, mission complete. So now we're going to go over to this guy, and um, to initiate battle with a civilian ship. Your guys won't do anything, they'll just move to it, or kind of an escort, almost. What you need to do is actually start some uh, combat with it. For some reason, they seem to do this. Whenever the mission is done, they do these weird-ass circles. When they're playing the game normally, um, they don't seem to have problems. So you gotta piss them off enough for them to attack you. And then your other ships will be able to join you. I just want the data. There we go. See, he has a missile launcher. That's why I'm interested in a ship. Oh, that was kind of cool, eh? All those jettisons in uh, different directions. Just like people trying to get bailed on. Oh, must be full for people. Yeah, 7 of 7. Okay, so they're just saying why am I wasting around in dead space? Is because I wanted that last guy, so let's go buy our hangar and check our ships. Yeah, we didn't unlock anything yet, so that's 50%, and then I think that turtle guy's down here, so that was 33%. So that kind of sucks. So let's go for another jump the star system. So five jumps left, six jumps left, four jumps left, and that's in Pluto. I said I never went to Pluto yet. Neptune, Saturn. We'll go and see this, the Civil Patrol versus UTA, and uh, we'll uh, defend the civilians if we can. A conflict event occurs when a local faction in the system can't get along, which is most of the time. There is no particular objective in a combat event, but you are free to participate. A combat event is a great place to earn some black box data from destroyed ships. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I'll be a scavenger. Okay. So we got some boomerangs and some turtles. So we'll just uh, go after the boomerangs, I guess, and see if uh, any big ships will come in for backup after we destroy these uh, these guys. Having a tough time getting beat up big time. Oh, here's another boomerang. 
Yeah, so it looks like they'll keep coming, at least for a little while. Also gotta watch out when they blow up their actual explosion they kill you. Oh, just like that. Took down my uh, shield entirely. Okay, so spacebar again. So two more boomerangs over there. We'll stay here until they say battle over, I guess. If it just keeps on going and going, we'll uh, leave, I guess. We're just here for data and Ooh, what's that? Hatchet, just like ours. Not even gonna last. Oh, almost lost shield again. Just hurt a little bit, but not too bad. Okay, let's go see how this boomerang's doing. Probably not too good at surrounded. Again, we're just supporting the civs for now. That's what I did last game. I guess uh, we should we could do a vote about that. Uh, tell me what you guys want to do. Do you want to support the civs or do you want to put the uh, uh, fight the UTA? I wonder if that counted as completed. I don't know. Kind of missed that. So we'll go research because we leveled up. Hmm. Let's do beams because that's the other weapon we're using right now. And we'll be using for a while. So. Yeah, I think it gives you a warning if you jump out too early. Like, it'll tell you that you're going to lose all your data, so... Yeah, those guys are really loving us. Look at the relationship. It's, like, terrible. This guy's winking at us. Uh, let's go there. Uh, we'll see how much res we have. 450, which is not much. Hangers. Change this guy. I was thinking we could change them all over to this and collect some stuff, but I might do that off camera. I don't know. Let's just go to the dock, I guess. It's over here for some reason. My other game, it was always to the southeast. So I guess they do randomize it a bit. So if you remember, these, these are guys that just uh, destroy the crap out of it. You can go around and collect some res. And then at the same time you can dock with them. What the heck? I was going to say, why can't I dock? So let's go black market here. Oh yeah, we can buy all this. So these are unlocking the upgrades and stuff like that. So to unlock a new ship device, you must purchase all the required blueprints. Once unlocked, it will show up in the hangar view component. Keep in mind that some component, uh, components require that you have upgraded your technology level screen in research before you can use them. So that means like why I was leveling up the engine part of it and shield and all that kind of stuff. We just bought everything there. Um, whoa! Holy, look at that laser off the big guy. Took my shields and almost my full plating now. Okay, so let's go hangers. We're gonna go ships. I'm gonna put in the new. Oh, I didn't upgrade to level 2. Crap! Yeah, I still have points. So... 
We want engine, I'm guessing. Oh, there we go, reactor. Whew. Okay, then spend it on something. So, let's go with hangers again. There we go, reactor, shield. Still need to upgrade our shields. So that's the next one we have to remember. Um, let's do it to everybody. Do it here. Yes, I forgot to press the retrofit. I'll come back to it. Okay. Let's see our new ships once we're ready. Instead of jumping to the next place without doing that. Okay, so I'm stuck on this ship two. Let's press one. Let's do another mission. Uh, tell me if you guys want to show or uh, see grinding also, because uh, we might have to grind for res and stuff like that. So four jumps, four jumps, two jumps, three jumps. Hold on, what was this? Beacon Basher. We haven't done this yet, and the other one was Trash Heap, which we've already done. So, oh, that's cool. So in the Soul System, here we go. Is the UTA we're at Hate and Civilian Friend. Uh, civilian or UTA Strength zero of three. Civilian Strength one of three. Trade Res eight of eight. Tech Focus Balanced. Tech Level one. So let's get over to Neptune for Beacon Basher. Uh, the UTA are installing beacons in the area to give the ships quick access through the system. The civilian population is unhappy with this and will pay to have uh, the beacons destroyed. So it also tells you uh, the data thing that involves in here. We'll see if we can get this mission done before um, the end of this. If not, then it will have to be later. So what I do here is I take my ships and I concentrate on the first beacon by itself because we, uh, you'll see. They're like uh, heavily guarded. They're almost like uh, space stations. You can take on space stations later in the game. But this is like the baby version for us newbies. And they have defenses, they're just not coming out fast enough for us to... Oh, sweep of the devil. Takes down my friggin' armor. Oh, they got their own laser thing on that, did you see that? Oh, they just lost a ship because it was too close. Oh crap, there's enemy ships. I think they come out of the beacons, if I remember right. And there's a civilian ship right in the center of all this. So I gotta watch out to make sure I don't blow them up. Even though I will blow you up in a bit. So. Oh, just. <laughs> and he's best. Okay. Oh, look at that, he's pissed. He's actually helping us. Okay, so I'll call this the end of this Let's Play, just so I make sure I don't go over. Uh, thank you for all your subs. I hope you guys are enjoying this new series. Feel free to comment with uh, suggestions, thoughts on where you want to see this series go, with both advice for playing. Or uh, where you want to see us go? Do we want to back the civilians or do we want to back the UTA? I was thinking you guys were nice out there and wanted to back the civilians right away, but you never know. You might want to back the UTA. You never know which side's the good side either. So this is Chris Tonian signing off for another Let's Play. Thanks for coming by and thanks for the subs. Bye guys.